my HP's table etiquette. Getting ready to get into this message. See how your person is feeling about you at this time. And see where their feelings are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the message. And see what your person wants you to know. Beloved, how's Aries person feeling about Aries, please? How is Aries person feeling about Aries, please? Fire sign on let go. Want to hop off the deck, but let's see what's up. Ooh, liar came out and it came out on the phone. Be careful of someone sneaky in reverse. So I don't know if this is this person that's saying they they changed. There may be a change within this person because this card definitely wants to come out in reverse. But I'm going to see what's matching with this energy. Beloved, what else is matching with this energy for how this person is feeling about Aries? So you got intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing. So, yeah, is this vibe of this person missing you, missing being close to you, miss talking to you? I'm getting that someone may have came in between you and this person, Aries. And this is why this liar card is here. I feel like if they were being unfaithful, they don't want to... um. They don't want to be like a player no more type energy is what I'm getting. It's like this person wants to let you know that they've changed, that they've matured, that they've grown up, that they're not still on the same stuff that they were on initially. They're really missing being close to you. You know, one thing about you, Aries, with this person is your energy. Like your energy for them... I guess I'm going to say it like, like how I'm getting it. It lights their fire. You know how... Sometimes people are something to do. They've been dealing with a lot of dull ass people like that just don't have no depth to them. They just, you know, surface layer. They might be pretty or whatever, or I'm just going to say it, fuckable. But they just ain't mm, hidden for them, right? So let's go ahead and get into my true emotions deck. Let's go ahead and break down their emotions, see what's really going on with this person. Talking about they fuckable. Like, okay. All right. But that's what some people are, and people need to understand that. Like, I don't care if someone's more pretty, got more money, whatever. Some people ain't got no personality. Like, that's a hard commodity out here, okay? But, beloved, what's this person's true emotions for Aries at this time? What's their true emotions for Aries? Do you know I think about you all day, every day? I'm trying to figure out why I can't get you off my mind. So you're plaguing this person's mind. This is, I feel like this is their karma for whatever they did to you. Now it's, it's getting to the point where I feel like they're getting a little irritated because they think about you all the time and they don't want to. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but for them, it's throwing their focus off. You know what I mean? Like they can't focus on anything else but you. What else, love? Just because we are not together doesn't mean you are far from my heart. I carry you in my spirit every day. Aries, this person, like your energy is all over this person. You know what? Even if these people that they're talking to do have personality and they're not just these dull men or dull women, this person don't care because when they're sitting there, let's say they're at dinner, they're sitting there, they're talking to somebody, having a conversation. And the person may be talking about something interesting, but their mind is wandering off thinking about the date that they had with you the first time. You know what I mean? Like this person, I don't know. They just, I don't know. They're comparing people to you like... I don't know. What else, love? Wow. I am still connected to you. When you can't get me off your mind, it is because I am thinking of you. So this might be all the time, Aries. You might be wondering, like, why the hell am I thinking about this person like this? Because the way that this person is still all up in your energy, I'm surprised that this person has having uh, came forward. As much as this person, like, thinks of you, wants to be around you, wants to be in your energy, in your atmosphere. I mean, you would think this person has came forward. So when I get into the tarot, I'm going to try to figure out why this person hasn't really came forward and expressed their feelings and emotions to you because, man, they're all like still connected to you, still wanting you, still wanting to be around you. It's crazy. What else, love? What else is this person's true emotions for Aries? What else, love? What else, beloved? I want to be with you forever. I see our future together and want to ask you to marry me. You're the one. 
You know what's interesting about this card? You know how they say it's that cliche thing of you never miss a good thing to their gun? This is what this person is dealing with at this time because I feel like, you know, it was what they were doing out in these streets because I feel like for some of y'all people, they were for the streets. I'm sorry. But whatever they were out there doing, it was a lot more funner when they knew that they still had you. But something about it just don't hit the same, right? It's like, you know, you can have, you know, a million like dollars in your pocket, right? But if you lose that one person that means the world to you, like that million dollars don't mean nothing. And this is kind of how this person is feeling. I'm getting that song by Drew Hill. Um... That you can have everything in the world, but I have nothing if I don't have you. I forget what that song is called, but it's kind of like that energy. But yeah, they see you as the one for them, Aries. So wherever they've been, I feel like this has been a realization. You know, it's also reminding me, it was this show called, was it Put a Ring on It? I think it was called Put a Ring on It. And so basically, during the duration of the show, they would allow for them to go and date other people, right? And to see if they really wanted to get married at the end of the show. And for some of them, they found out or discovered that they didn't really they really wasn't ready for marriage. But for most of them, it was like they knew that they was ready or like they was with the right person. So I feel like this is that type of situation where your person had to go and do bullshit to find out that you are the one for them. And now they're like ready to change. And that's why this liar came out in reverse initially. Because this person wants you to know, Aries, that they changed. They're not the same person, right? What else, beloved? What else does uh, this person want Aries to know? What else? I have anger issues that cloud my judgment. I feel bad for taking my frustrations out on you. So maybe when you were with this person, maybe this person was hiding like the certain things that they were going through in life. Maybe their money wasn't right. Maybe they were going through court cases. Maybe their baby mamas were stressing them out. Maybe whatever was going on in their world. But a lot of what was going on in their world, they took out on you because you were the closest person to them, right? This person, you know, they're in this energy, I almost feel like, of taking accountability, knowing that they wasn't right, knowing that they kind of did you dirty, all that type of stuff. And, you know, what's irritating this person's soul right now is, I heard you are dating someone new. How could you just move on if you really love me? So this person feels like even though y'all not together, Aries, you're not supposed to move on because... Like, you're theirs. In their mind, you were still theirs. Like, you're not supposed to have nobody else. They're coming back to you. They still want you. That type of energy. But this person, I don't know. For some reason, they hard-headed. This person had to go and find out what was out there without you. And they found out, like, it's just, it's just, everybody just seemed dull compared to you, right? Like I said, I don't care how people look. That's the representative. That's the introduction. That's what get people in your face. But that spirit, what's inside of you, that's what keep people. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person may have been a person who had Roman eyes or something like that. Or, you know, always in somebody DM or doing some BS. But yeah, this person found out the hard way. And I don't know if you still want them, Aries. Because if, if they heard you moved on, maybe you dating new people. So maybe you moved on from them. But there's that's like their worst fear. Okay? And they tell me, hold on, I'm coming. So maybe this person is coming back. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot. See what else you need to know, Aries. Wow. What else does Aries need to know about this person, beloved? What else? The nine of wands in reverse. The three of cups in reverse. Wow. The king of pentacles. Wow. The four of cups. Judgment. I got to get one more after this judgment and the magician at the bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles. So maybe this person, I don't know, with this temperance card and the hair fence behind it with this two of cups in reverse. I feel like this person been going through changes and stuff since you've been gone. Right. They definitely be um, still keeping their eye on you or whatever, Aries. But this person definitely been going through some type of um, life changes, some type of realization. And I feel like that realization is like. Without, that's the name of the song. Without you, my life is incomplete. 
So it's, it's, it's like they're realizing like something's missing, right? And this is why they constantly thinking about you now because they feel like without Aries, something is just missing in my life. I know I was dirty. I know I did Aries wrong, so on and so forth, but something's missing. You know, I feel like with this nine of wands, this person, he's like trying to fight a wolf that's coming towards him or whatnot. So I feel like this person, your person may be very attractive and maybe this person actually do have to like try and and fight their inner demons and try not to cheat and shit like that because i'm sorry we're in the generation and i figure this out talking to one of my homeboys we're in the generation where women throw themselves at men not all women but some women throw themselves on men don't care if they got a girl don't care if they got a wife whatever totally disrespectful right and men sometimes, I mean, they're men. If she's attractive, she looking her lips, she talking slick, whatever. Like they, they might be going unless they are like fighting that inner demon of, you know, lust. Men are people like visual creatures. Their eye catches shit. It makes they think hard out of nowhere, right? So I feel like your person may have to go through that a lot. But with this three uh, cups in reverse, I feel like they are trying to fight whatever inner demon that they had inside of them, right? They're in this King of Pentacles in energy right because i feel like the beloved is getting ready to give them another opportunity with you whether you want it or not aries they're coming through about to get another opportunity with you right and i feel like you know they still they still have this temptation that they're gonna have to deal with but at the end of the day i feel like they are gonna choose you with this judgment card and try to be right with you with this magician card for some reason let me clarify this magician card why is this magician card here the sun okay the eight of pentacles in reverse and the four of wands in reverse I feel like this person's coming back being honest with you, Aries. This is, like I said, the first card out for this reading was liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. And this card fell on the phone. It, like, fell on the phone in reverse. So it's like this person wants you to know they changed. And I feel like they're getting ready to be transparent with you and let you know why their, their relationship with you didn't work at the time. Like, you know, Aries, I wasn't ready at the time. You know, I was still dealing with XYZ, but I'm ready now. It just seems like an energy of someone who doesn't want to lose someone or realizing that they're in the midst of of getting ready to lose someone that they really love cherish care for right so it's kind of that type of energy okay what else does aries need to know about this person what else what else does aries need to know about this person love open your heart Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. So this person is finally going to open their heart up to you. I feel like before, I, like I said, your person is fine or something, Aries, but they attract a lot of people in, right? And I feel like they had to fight a lot within themselves, like from temptation. It's like that was, that's their biggest flaw is their temptation. It's not that they're a bad person or something like that. It's like, honestly, like temptation for them is hard. So I don't know if they work on it or not. I guess you'll find out. But they're coming back trying to at least fight it, at least acknowledging like, damn, I need to control that. You know, like I said, we're in a generation where people be throwing themselves on people. So, yeah. Love language, affirmations, loving words hold great power. This is why I feel like your person is coming back to talk to you, to tell you like what was going on. Because they do want you to know that they do care for you. They are apologetic. Aries, they talking shit though. They talking about your mouth. <laughs> they talking about your mouth though. Aries, I don't know what you said to your person. But they they want me to tell you like, you know, some things you say to them are hurtful, is very hurtful to them and they trying to let it go. But something you said to them really hurt them like that last little thing. And no wonder whatever you said, this is why this card is coming out. You are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. You in some way made this person feel like like shit okay whatever you said i feel like it hit this person and their ego or pride and yeah you made them feel like they were worthless to you or something like 
your your words really cut this person to their soul, Aries. And I feel like with you being born under the sign of Mars, the 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 planet of war, like you really do have to be careful with your mouth because when your words come out, they hit like a Leo word hit, like it's blunt. And I'll apologize for it later. So just be careful with that, Aries. Okay. But other than that, that's what I get for you guys. I'm going a, I'm to a try to do Taurus through Aries tonight, but I'll see. But yeah, I'm getting ready to do Taurus. So make sure you guys follow me over there. Other than that, I thank you guys for tapping in. If you guys sent me any love, thank you so much for the love. I really be tuned into the reading. But um, thank you guys for tapping in. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care. You're welcome.